You may have noticed that the Windows 10 Photo app has stopped allowing you to import the photos from your camera or your phone directly into folders which are named by the date. Now it used to be that if you imported these then they'd automatically put them in a folder which gave you the month and the, and the year in pictures. Now when you import them all of your photos just basically go into the pictures folder. So I've just imported those from my phone and there we go, it's imported. And as you can see, it just puts them all together in the pictures folder, which might be great for some people because you might want all your pictures in one place. But after a while, if you've imported so many photos, it's gonna be difficult to try and find the photo that you want. So sometimes it's much easier to put them in folders of your own. Now, luckily enough, the Windows um, 10 photo app still allows you to name the folder that you want to put them in if you want to, which is great, but some people prefer to have them in date order. So uh, this guide shows you how you can get an alternative program which puts that functionality back. So first of all, all we need to do is to close down the Photos app, and let's just close down other things that I've got open here. So open your browser, you can open any browser, Firefox, Chrome, Edge, or uh, perhaps Opera or Brave. You can use any of those browsers. Don't use Internet Explorer as Internet Explorer's old, outdated, insecure, and probably won't work for this video. So in this example, I'm gonna use Microsoft Edge. If you're running Windows 10, which you should be, uh, then Microsoft Edge is installed on there. So let's just open that up. And once Edge or your browser's open, go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the top, click in it and delete out anything that might be in there, and then just type faststone.org. That's faststone.org, all in lowercase and no spaces. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. Then you should get this page appear, and what you want to do is you want to find Fast Stone Image Viewer, and then move your mouse over Download and left click once. Then when this page appears, just move your mouse over the Download button with EXE above it and left click once. You'll then notice in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, FS Viewer Setup will now download and once the figures have disappeared from below that, then you can move your mouse over FS Viewer Setup and left click once. However, if you've downloaded using another browser, then just close down your browser, click on any yellow folder on the screen. If you haven't got a yellow folder on the screen, click the Start button, then click the Documents folder there, and then click on Downloads from the left hand side, and then find FS Viewer Setup in your download list. Once you've found it, double left click on it. And now we should all be at the same place. So it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Faststone Image Viewer and then a figure and then set up and the verified publisher is Faststone Corporation, then it's okay to move your mouse over yes and left click once. You'll then get the setup wizard appear. So move your mouse over next, left click once. Move your mouse over I agree, left click once. Move your mouse over install, left click once. And then it will start to install. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, this bit might take a bit of time, so please be patient. And then once you get this uh, message appear, move your mouse over finish, left click once. Okay, and then we, what we can do here is, if we've got the downloads window open, we can actually delete the uh, installation file because all it's doing is it's just taking up space on our computer. Uh, so we've come up with this screen here saying thank you very much for using Faststone programs. Now, if you do enjoy using this particular program, it is free, but it is what they call donationware. So if you enjoy it, please consider making a donation to the developers. It does help future development of this program and past development, of course. So please do consider this if you do find that you do enjoy using it or you find the program helpful. Okay, so just for now, I'm just gonna click on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen to get rid of that. And like I say, we just wanna delete the installation file for FS Viewer 
So move your mouse over FS Viewer Setup, left click once, okay, and then move your mouse over the delete button just up there, left click once, and then it says, are you sure that you want to move this file to the recycle bin? Move your mouse over yes, left click once. And there you go, that's gone. So click on the cross up there to close this uh, box down. And then we need to open Fastone Image Viewer. So let's just double click on this here. And it's just up later, updating the database file. This won't take too long, hopefully. Just leave it. And there we go, it's now updated. So if your screen has opened up small like mine has, click on that little box just there and it'll maximize the screen for you. What we want to do is I'm just going to try and find the pictures folder. So I'm going to click on libraries there and then click on pictures just there and then click on pictures just there. And there we go. That takes us to our pictures folder. So now what we can do is we can plug our phone or camera in. Give it a few seconds once you've plugged it in, especially if you've plugged it in for the very first time. Uh, simply because it's going to take a little while for the uh, the camera or the phone to set itself up but if you've plugged it in before it should connect pretty quick so if you've not plugged it in before then give it two minutes if you have plugged it in before then perhaps give it 10 to 20 seconds something like that all we need to do is click on the picture of the camera just in the top left hand corner of the screen there okay and it's automatically found my phone that I've connected there. That's the model number of the phone. And we've got some options here below. So we can click on this show file picker. And what that will do is that will enable us to pick the files that we want to download to the computer and leave off the ones we don't. Otherwise it will just download everything. So here it's asking us for the location that we want to store our pictures in. Well, the pictures folder would be a good place. So let's just click on the three dots just to the right there to select the destination folder and then click on the plus next to libraries and then click on the plus next to pictures and then click on pictures itself. This second picture is just here and then click on OK. And that will put, I say, the uh, pictures into our pictures folder, a sensible place to, to put them. So here we've got create subfolder. So we can create a subfolder, it'll create a subfolder by year and date, or we can select year and then month, or we can select year, then month, then date, or year, then month, then day, or just month, or the date itself we can, we can select. Or you can put them in a specified folder there. Or you can just say none at all and do what the Windows 10 photo apps doing is just put them directly into the pictures folder. But I think it would be a good idea to perhaps put them in month. OK, because I think that's how the Windows 10 app used to uh, used to do that. OK, so I've ticked this box here that says skip files that have already been imported to the destination location. So that means that any files that are already in there it won't re-import them. Okay, so uh, that's good. So I click on import, it's analyzing, and there you go. All the pictures here that are in green have all been selected. As you can see up in the top right-hand corner there, it says nine selected. Now, if I didn't want to select certain pictures, I can hold down the CTRL key or the control key, that's the key, in the bottom left-hand corner of your keyboard, hold that down and just unselect the photos that you don't want just by clicking once on each of them so there we go so and then when you're ready you can just click on OK and then it gives you a summary here of the pictures that it's going to uh, import and it's going to tell you where it's going to import them to so if we've got any problems with that then we can click cancel but if we're happy for these pictures to come across then we can click start. Okay, and there you go, they've now imported. So I click on close. And if I go into the pictures folder, I mean, I can look on here. So there you go. So a few of them have imported into 201509 because it was the September 2015 I took those pictures and this picture I took in July 2016. So, and this will replicate the folders that are in your pictures folder. So if I just come out of this and I just click on the little yellow folder down here, or if you haven't got a little yellow folder down there, then you can click on the start button and then click the documents folder 
just there. And then I can click on pictures just here. And there you go. As you can see there, there's two folders there that it's created. So one that says 2015-09 and one there that says 2016-07. So and if I go into there, there you go. There's the, the photos. So there you go. Hopefully that will help you out if you've been having problems with the changes in the Windows 10 photo apps. I hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.